The name of the program is Operation Second Chance. It's here at the Gwinnett County Sheriff's Department. The program itself is based upon you bring in, or dogs over from animal control that possibly could be euthanized and you put them with inmates. These inmates that are in this program are your low level minimum security, uh, your theft, burglary, violation of probation for DUI, just very minor crimes. They come into this program and as I was gonna say before, you take two beings that we don't know their background, we don't know their histories, and you put them together and you can have magic that happens. You have criminals. We're in here. We're, we always, we, it's very typical to criminals, you, people incarcerated, let's say, to look at the officers as a kind of a us against them type thing. Then you get a program where we're cooperatives working together for the good of these dogs. So now, now we're partners with the officers in a, in a sense. We gain a different type of relationship. We gain a respect and a, a, a love almost because, you know, we love what they're doing and they love what we're doing. And, and it, it kind of instills a, a, a different view of the situation in us, if we grasp it, if we choose to grasp it that way. The Operation Second Chance has, it's been about for two years now. We actually just celebrated our two-year anniversary. The, uh, we've adopted 97 dogs to date. We've saved 113. We've got groups of guys brought together who would normally never even say two words to each other. They're brought together to be and put on an animal and they become almost like co-parents of this animal. They may not like each other, but they end up both loving the animal. So they, then they have something in common. It brings them together. It, it, they, they have a mutual, a common ground to stand on and, and it, it helps them to you know kind of bypass some of their differences. Most of the guys that come into this program really take to it. They enjoy having a dog, having something that loves them unconditionally, showing them patience and responsibility, something they may have never had before. I've gotten to where I like the program, I really like the program, I'm madly in love with the program. I like write about it, I think about it. it, 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 it to me, it's, it's something that could change the world. A lot of us have never really been a part of anything really positive. A lot of us have a really low self-esteem or you know, just, just really never gained any of the, the spiritual soul benefits of doing something good. And this is a situation where we are doing something good and we're not getting anything out of it except for the satisfaction of knowing we're doing something good. Someone else is going to come and get these dogs. Someone else is going to reap the benefits of, of our hard work. You know, this may be the first time that an inmate's really been responsible for a living thing, mm -hmm. you know, for taking care of something. Yeah. It teaches on responsibility and teaches on that they can give, not always take. A lot of us, you know, resort to drugs, crime, whatever, because we, we, there's no value. We have no value for ourselves. We have no value for life. Then we end up, we find ourselves in a situation like this, a program like this, where we're taught values. We're taught that there's a value to hard work that doesn't give us anything that we can hold. We can sit in our rooms at night with the bittersweet feeling of missing our dog, but knowing that it's with the family and it's not gonna be euthanated, it's not gonna be put down, it's gonna be well taken care of, and it's because we put our soul into it. They're like us, you know, they, they, a lot of us are more unwanted, you know, at, at the end of the road so in some cases, you know, here and here they are, we're, we're partners in that, you know, we're both at the end of our line very possibly in a lot of ways, and we can pull each other out of it. All these dogs need is time, and all we need is patience. So we can give them our time, and they're teaching us patience. And it's like, we're not just doing for them, they're doing for us.